Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make supreme loaded brownies. Now they are simply amazing, just perfect and they are so fun to make. You are going to love it. So the ingredients we'll be needing here are some eggs, semi-sweet chocolate chips, flour and salt, salted butter, sugar, vanilla, and some boiled water. Now the full recipe is in the description box, so you can go there to get all the correct measurements, and you're also going to be needing a nine by 13 inch baking sheet lined with some parchment paper and with some non-stick spray under and on top of the parchment paper and the parchment paper will help remove your brownies much easier. We will also be placing some chopped toasted pecans and some mini chocolate chips on top of our brownies, but I'll show you that once we get there. So for now, let's get to making our brownies. Into a small saucepan, we're going to place our butter and our sugar. Okay, and we're going to melt our butter and sugar on medium low heat and we're going to mix it until it has completely melted and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so after a few minutes over medium low heat, our butter and sugar look perfect here. You need to make sure that your butter is completely melted. So that's that. Now we'll add in our two cups of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but most definitely you can use bittersweet, whatever you like. Just remember if you use something like milk chocolate, it's going to make your brownies even sweeter, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so our chocolate mixture looks great. Now I'm going to place it in my mixing bowl and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so into our mixing bowl, we will add our chocolate and butter mixture here. We'll also add in our vanilla, our boiling water here, our eggs, and we're going to mix until everything is well combined. Okay, so this is looking great. And now we'll add in our flour and salt here. And now we'll place our brownie mixture into our prepared baking pan and then I'll show you what our toppings are going to be. Okay, so what I have here is half a cup of whole pecans that I have chopped. So I'm gonna place that on top and some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now we'll place about a third a cup of our mini chocolate chips here. And you wanna make sure that you have your oven preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so my brownies baked uh, for exactly 43 minutes. I inserted a toothpick, it came out clean, and they are just perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them in the pan just as they are for about 15 minutes or so until they are slightly cooled, and then we'll be ready to cut them and try them. Okay, so my brownies have been cooling here in the pan for about half an hour, and now I'm going to place them on a large cutting board. We're gonna cut them and try them. Okay, so you need to make sure that you give your brownies enough cooling time in the pan, or else when you pull them out with your parchment paper, they will break on you. So I waited half an hour, and I just wanna show you how they came out so easily and beautifully. And now we'll just cut them up. You can cut them up into uh, big or small squares, whatever you like. These are simply perfection. They are so moist and a bit of chewiness around the edges. They are so, so perfect. You must try these at home. It's the perfect amount of sweetness and you're going to love them. It's a little twist on a classic brownie. So that's about it. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Share the recipe with your family and friends. And that's about it. So I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye, everyone.